Hey, what's up? I have the best video for you today. Buckle up, this could save you a lot of money. Did you know your computer has a battery? Did you know sometimes that battery might die? And if it dies, your computer could do all sorts of silly things. Symptoms could include your mouse or keyboard wigging out and not working. Symptoms could also include annoying beeping when you try to turn it on. It could be multiple beeps or one big long Symptoms could also include your computer falling over and playing dead because it's lazy and tired of being your slave and it refuses to load your operating system. Or it time traveled while you weren't looking and it thinks it's 1990 or some other weird time. But what is time? You might have trouble with your hardware devices. Well, since your computer be straight up tripping and hardware's for chumps. But here's the absolute worst life-ending symptom. It won't connect to the internet. <gasps> but what is that mysterious battery? What does it do? I'm gonna give you just a quick crash course since I know you probably don't care and you just want your computer to stop tripping balls. And I'm sure you don't want Dennis Nedry to fix it either when he's just trying to steal your dinosaurs. Especially when you could fix it yourself for under 10 bucks. Okay, most people have some idea what an operating system is. It's a program. It's the software shell of your computer that all other fancy programs live in that makes everything go. It's like your mom making you bologna sandwiches growing up so you don't die, allowing you to function and do all the fun stupid things you did when you were a kid. Well, there's another program that runs first when your computer first comes to life. It's called your BIOS. B-I-O-S. And it has a very quick and simple job. You can't exist without it. I mean, your computer can't exist without it. BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System. It handles waking up all your hardware in your computer and loading your operating system. It also handles data flow between your operating system and your computer's hardware. Think of it like your nervous system. It might be cool to have a brain, but your body isn't very fun if your brain can't communicate with your body. Once upon a time, your BIOS was hard programmed into read-only memory. This means your computer's processor could read the data in your BIOS, but couldn't write anything new to your BIOS program. But alas, what if there are things we want to change? What if we want to go to the store and buy a new finger? I mean, a uh, hard drive. This is what your CMOS memory is for, or at least used to be. If we do need to make changes or upgrades to our system, our computer needs to know what changes we've made. CMOS is volatile memory, and we'll learn all about it eventually in my Learn Electronics for Beginners series. But to summarize, it has amnesia if you unpower it. Forgets everything. Kinda like me. So you need to keep it powered on, which is what the little button cell battery is for. This has been a bit of a stroll down memory lane because technology changes. BIOS these days isn't read only anymore typically. In fact, some of the newest stuff isn't even called BIOS anymore. It's called UEFI, which stands for Unified Extensible Firmware Interface, cause I know you care. It's just fancier and more user friendly. We like that. But regardless, whether it's BIOS or UEFI it can be changed and updated now, which is how ransomware attacks became a thing. Have you ever gotten a virus and you got a message saying you need to pay some bogus antivirus place to remove it or it'll brick your computer? Maybe you ignored it like a reasonable person and just reinstalled your operating system, cause that fixes everything. But then the virus is still there and your computer dies a horrible death. <sighs> I'm sorry, bruh, that sucks. I feel for you. You've probably at least heard of this happening. Well, that's because the virus is hiding in your BIOS. Manufacturers a while back decided it would be a good idea if they could update your BIOS firmware so that if glitches popped up down the road, they could fix them. They started using flash memory, those turds, trying to make life better for us and look what happened. So you might wonder, Hey, if BIOS can be reprogrammed now, what's the point of CMOS? Why do I still need a battery? Well, that's an excellent question. It's basically just a glorified clock now on newer computers keeping track of time when your computer is off. You know how your car forgets what time it is if you unplug the battery? Same idea. All right. Even if your CMOS battery is only a glorified clock these days, it can still cause problems if it dies. So this whole topic was inspired by my old dead computer. It's about nine years old, but I still use it for some things. Say for instance, I want to tinker with things, but don't want to mess up my good computer. It's old enough for my CMOS battery to have died tragically. It's a tragedy. So I'll show you how to replace a CMOS battery and save hundreds on your car insurance by not going to your local computer repair shop. In my case, the battery's hiding underneath my computer's video card. That's dumb. 
What a dumb place to put it. So I'm gonna remove the video card. Easy. Once that's out of the way, I just pop out the old coin cell battery and pop in the new one the same way I took out the old one. Most CMOS batteries are CR2032 size, but look and see what yours is. They can be different sizes. If you have a laptop, there may be a slot where you can access your battery without opening it up. All right. In my case, I really haven't upgraded or changed anything in my system since I got the computer, so I shouldn't have to tweak any settings, but we'll see. Let's power it up. Honestly, most computers that you might actually be using these days have automation built into your BIOS firmware to sense what new stuff you may have added to your system. Pretty much gone are the days where you actually had to go in and tell your computer what new hardware gadgets you stuck in there. If you've never changed anything in your BIOS, you shouldn't have to worry about doing anything once you replace the battery. It'll just magically come back to life. Wizard magic. All right, I hope you got value out of this video. Tell me in the comments below how you found me. Is your computer tripping balls too? Let me know. Hit the subscribe button for more nonsense and tell a friend if I made you laugh. Don't forget to smash the like button. I'll see you in the next one. This is Laugh Meet Lightning, bringing a little lightning into your life. Extensible firmware interface. Inter it's basically just a glorif glorified clock. Ah, why can't I say that? Jeez. Well, it's basically just a glorif glorified clock. I can't say that. Ah, computer froze up. My computer crapped out on me. Ah.